hello everyone and make sure that you watch out in your general vicinity especially if you are in a lightly or lord forbid a heavily wooded area because today with me i have one of the most well-renowned pyromaniacs in the world famous for setting everything on fire whether it be ants with microscope not with micro magnifying glasses whether it be moths with um what the the thing they're called the one that they use for a bunsen burner um not bunsen burner see i've done the the thing the completely wrong what what the hell is the like hand like lighter that you use for cooking i don't know man <laughs> well you're the one that uses I guess it. Burn with it. I don't know lighter. about it it's, it's still literally just called a lighter um uh, sorry, yeah, to uh, moths with, um, moths with, like, cooking lighters, and, uh, you know, um, <laughs> I wanted to say the British word for cigarette for a second, but I had to hold myself back from it. Um, you know, there's oh, a, you mean, you mean the only and today I will be trying to attempt to get them to stop starting bug fires. Okay, test subjects. I just, you know, I'm speaking to you in the future, okay? This broadcast is coming from time and space, and okay, my assistant just told me none of that's true. Got excited. You we are dealing before with the video Paradox Pokemon. We are dealing with Paradox Pokemon from the past, which apparently has nothing to do with us time traveling, but that's still pretty freaking exciting. We're actually speaking to you from the past because we're not. This isn't a live stream. And even if it was, there'd be a slight time delay, so it would technically be the So we are going through So leave a comment down below about what you guys think about the concept of time travel and how they implemented it in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Um, today we are covering Volcarona, Slitherwing, and Ursaring. Um, I had Greedent there because I forgot that Greedent was the Pokemon with the Peter Griffin thing, and I think at one point uh, it said, Hey Lois, this reminds me of that time that I was in Pokemon Legends of Arceus. <laughs> I have no idea why that was the joke that was originally in my head, but um, the green is still uh, there from it. As well as the forest fire and... that Keith started by lighting a small, um, uh, what's it called? Help, I'm forgetting. Um, the jump. Cricket on fire. I forgot the name of crickets. Cool. Um, yeah, um, well, what Pokemon are we talking about today? Hello? Um, uh, yeah. What uh, Pokemon I are we just named them all. What? Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> Shut uh, up. And you said that you were specifically attracted to this uh, incarnation of Volcorona, which I am also specifically attracted to. Yeah. Uh, uh, Slitherwing, it's fucking great. Oh, I don't know why I like it no, so no, much. No, I meant the, the Volcarona on the thumbnail. But Slitherwing, oh. too. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, it's just, uh, you know. The, 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 uh, the belly tattoo oh. always really got you going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you know, your own belly tattoo or anything. No? <laughs> okay. Like, yeah, what? Keep flying. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what should it profit what? the man if he should gain the world but lose his mortal soul? That's, that's what I ask you. Um... Also, that's a very, you know, private question. Um, anyway... Uh, yeah, so it's the other wing. It's from the past, it's a bug fighting type and stuff. I, it's it's fun. Yeah. Um, and it looks kinda... well, kinda actually looks, looks also, a bit more like... like um, it's very funny. We should probably talk about the village crusher themselves. Oh yeah. Uh, this well, isn't a joke, this is just how, how people tend to describe it. I think it's based off of the Avatar episode, right? Where uh, I think it's a panda destroys I the village? I have not seen Avatar. To way of the water. I okay. Avatar: The Last Airbender, sir. <laughs> I have not seen Avatar: Two: uh, The Way of Water. It. I heard it was not as good as Puss in Boots Two, and that film was well, only. I think it's as good as. Uh, um. So, Ursaring the Village Crusher. Boots. It's got a very high attack stat. It's got decent bulk. It can run EVO light, but it can also do guts or quick feet with an item that changes its thing, uh, and yeah, you can yeah. run. A, a terror type that gives you a second stab, so that you can have two stabs, including. Or you can off. just be a G and have double terror type into normal and get a huge power boost. Yeah, I mean it does pretty good damage after a sword stance to steals. It's not not like a KO or anything, but you know it's, it's okay. You still lose to the mouse cell counter, um, thinkathons, you know, but yeah, that always happens. 
Um, and it speed's pretty good, so you can function in Tailwind or in Trick Room, which I like. Yeah. Um, why would you use Ursa Ring on a team? Uh, you use Ursa Ring on a team because you want a an explosive Pokemon that can feature in or outside of Trick Room, and you are mm -hmm. not looking for a special attacker. Yeah. There are a lot of I options for physical attackers, but Ursa Ring is easily a solid one that can fit into that niche. Yeah, um, Why would I'm use great like tasks? I don't know. Pokemon. Please, please, no, don't further ask questions. Uh, because you need to be immune to Shadow Ball. <laughs> it's true, it's true, it is a ghost check. Yeah. Um, it also is a status absorber, which is pretty good. And because you, I think, often want to run Swords Dance on this mod, it does mean that you can get through the Terra Poison Dark and Ackle that is like a tier staple. Um, at least as far as the meta's gone so far. And honestly, its power is really good. I think it's yeah. slightly slower than Brute Bonnet. I think the Brute Bonnet is 56, but it might be like 55 or 53 or 57. I, I don't remember. I haven't done that video yet. Um, so yeah, Village Crusher. Uh, now we have Praise the Sun, Volcarona. This mod has absolutely been a meta staple so far this, um, this season. It's a ridiculous 135 special attack with the fire stab. means you can punish opposing teams for trying to use their protosynthesis by clicking uh, fire move boosted in sun. Uh, yep. It's decent speed, it's solid, it's faster than mm -hmm. a bunch of the Proto Mons, and it's slower than a bunch of, sorry, yeah, and it's slower than a bunch of the Quark Drive Mons. That's exactly what I was trying to say, and I somehow managed to say it. It's also a fairy resist, which is good, because Flutter Mane exists. It's not a ghost resist, but shush. Um, uh, it doesn't need to be. <laughs> it helps to resist <laughs> at least one of them. Gargonacle is your only, uh, your only tried and true hard counter with the uh, Terror Poison and Purifying Soul. Yeah. I mean, there are probably other mods, but I refuse to remember them. Bishop. <laughs> no, Bishop is, doesn't resist, right? Uh, a normal Steel type? Normal Poison type? Is there a normal Poison type in the format? Um, yeah, the... Graffiti! Graffiti! If only it wasn't too acute, but it's probably O-Code and some. Um, also, you can't... You can't doodle Photosynthesis, which is heartbreaking. Uh, yeah, this Pokemon's good spit F is really solid. Uh, Flame Body is not a bad ability. You, we, we've seen it run Rage Powder. We've seen it run like Life Orb, three attacks. Um, we've seen it tear it into basically anything. Why do you put this one on a team? Because you have a Pokemon that is weak to Fairy, and you don't want to immediately lose to um, Fluttermane. Uh, otherwise, yeah. because you have a setup mon, uh, because you have a mon that you would prefer not to take a specific hit, or because you would like to, like you feel weak to sun, because this mon, like I said, punishes sun pretty effectively. Um, yes, it does. Yeah, it's very strong, and it's very versatile. You've got the struggle bug sets, you've got your um, fully bulky, like, rage powder sets. I think I've even seen helmet with the, uh, I forget what terror it was, it might have been terror flying on it, which is like, <laughs> something. It's really something. Um, yeah. <laughs> Like there's a, this this model's an incredible amount of said diversity. Uh, yeah, it's definitely worth. Basically, just very flexible and very good in this middle. Yeah, very um, powerful. Yeah. Um, right, and now we get on to Slitherwing. I'm the bug guy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This does not fit with the uh, background music. Keith can't hear that to check, but it doesn't at all. Um, this mod is incredibly strong. Uh, this mod is more especially defensive than Buzz Buzzwall, and its Fizz Def, I think, is better than Buzzwall's special defense. Yeah. Right, um, Spidef is not better than Buzzwall's physical defense, but you know yeah. what? That doesn't matter. It's got 85 special attack, and Buzzwall, I think, only has, like, 60. 50 odd, I think. Oh, no. Well, it's basically just a more offensive Buzzwall, effectively. Uh, it's just got some pretty strong attacks, like it's got First Impression, which yeah. is really, really good. Um, and really puts a lot of pressure Beneath on your own opponent. first impression, Oko's fine. Yeah. Because, like, there are just so... There's just so many, like, you know, bug weaknesses that are yeah. also just hit hard by close combat. That really puts Absolutely. a lot of pressure on them. Well, there is one type that will just go. Your main bug it's... checks resist, um... Sorry. Yeah, like... There are three besides, types like... that resist both. What's the third one? Uh, so, it's Ghost, Poison, Flying. Oh, fucking poison. Okay, yeah, do you remember about? the Terra Poison guy I mentioned earlier? <laughs> uh, but um, don't worry, this guy also has Flare Blitz, which is a fucking amazing in Sun. Um, and yeah. if you, you, don't, you aren't looking for Flare Blitz, it's also got um, the Dual Wing Beat and a bunch yeah. of other things that can tear it And, like, if, 
there are some specific matchups or like you know where you consider running heavy slam because like it's not the heaviest yeah for but drop. have you done a lot of fairies which are very very light in general absolutely that's that's very true um like it'll you'll get 120 base power on the shit like, like you know reliably getting KOs and with green uh, tail which is crazy why do you use this mod uh because you want a priority move that does a lot of damage and you're okay. generally looking for a physical attacker like the first impression is genuinely ludicrous it's got a fairly decent defensive matchup in a similar way to how Boswell did where it resists a lot of very useful types like this mod hard check some um, great tusk unless it's running terror into one of the types that is coverage for you which most of them do not and that's that's pretty good um he also like my brain is feeling all the words i was trying to say yeah uh, uh, Flare Blitz is great because it destroys Goldango. That's the, that's the thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's why Flare Blitz is, is specifically very good. Though it's just generally yeah. pretty good. Um, yeah. So the Wing, the Bug Guy, he's pretty good. You can genuinely fit this into a lot of teams. And the, it, like I said, similar to how Boswell does, except you get the Beast Boost just by being in Sun or running an item, which is pretty good. But it's not as good as a Beast Boost. Uh, nope. Oh, well. What's sorry? Yeah. I think it's not as good as a beast boost, but it's still pretty strong. It's definitely pretty strong. So, Mr. Fudge Gore. Why well, yeah, I should probably... I, I assume you have built a team? Yeah, I have. Okay, uh, let me... Let me, uh, let me... By the way, consider this conversation to have been Apple warning. Okay. Don't worry, I've got a plan. I got, I got a team. <laughs> we both have saved life. Yeah. I got a team. I notice you seem to be missing a very specific Pokemon. What Pokemon's that? Uh, Tekken Gargonach. <laughs> uh, it's not Tekken, it's just, it's just good. Also, this is um open team sheets. Uh, does that mean we get to see all the moves? Yeah. Moves and Terra type. Ah, uh, okay. Also, except like the other games. I kind of wish it wasn't open team sheets then. I, I I did tell you in advance. <laughs> what my Pokemon's looking at? <laughs> oh god. Okay. You say this like it was a much funnier team than you wound up bringing. <laughs> like I feel like the team is not as a uh, is not as uh, wacky as you seem to be implying. Oh, it's not that wacky. It's actually it's actually pretty standard, bog standard, I would think. Yeah. Alrighty. We ready? I am ready. Uh, notice you uh, did not run the funny to... item. What am I gonna? How am I gonna leave this? The anti trick room tailwind driftlum is funny. It, it look it is very funny. I like how it's aftermath for no discernible reason. What else am I having? Unburden. <laughs> Why don't you come here with your logical thoughts? Okay, no, don't spoil the upcoming video. I know exactly what you wanted to say there. Yeah. Um I don't remember what my Gyarados set is, so this is a great way to check. Oh that's right, it's a soul <laughs> I completely forgot about that, though, to be honest with you. The Terra Water Azumarill is scary. Jesus, that does not do a lot of damage. Oh, wait, it's actually Trick Room. <laughs> As opposed to the Tailwind thing that I thought it was. Okay, I guess that makes more sense. I understand you have both. However, the Imprison makes it look like it's anti-Trick Room. Uh, that's funny. Uh, but also, I know that you are not using the featured mods. You've dropped at least uh, one of them. You know. <laughs> 
That is exactly well, the kind of player that I would expect from dishonest individuals uh, such as Sheaf Gildan. What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? Genuinely, what can I say? I, I don't know. Seems pretty damning. Yeah, fair enough. Interesting play. Well, I knew that probably wouldn't kill you. Um, I have a plan. I wonder what that plan could possibly be. I missed. No, it it screwed. Okay. I manually yeah. input the IVs so that I would get a speed boost with Slitherwing, but it did, it screwed it up completely, and I have no idea how I'm supposed to deal with that fact. Like, that's so stupid. That's too rough. Okay, this has not been a great game for all of us, right? No, it's not. It's not. It's look. All I'm saying is, it's good being. Uh, it's it, it's good being me in this situation. Mm-hmm. Especially when you're a coward who uses protect in your own. Uh, whatever it's called, I I don't remember. In your trick room? Probably. That is going to be the first time in the history of the world I've seen Aftermath actually, like, go off. Yeah! Aftermath, what a play! Sure, on Eevee all that ring. There we go, see? So I, I manually had changed, you... and I complained to you in the call when I did this, that it changed my um my EVs back. They changed my wow. EVs back in the call, and I'm like, okay, well, it's finally left it there. Specifically so I would get a speed boost. Uh, I have no attack investment. The um, whole thing was like, uh, oh, I'm going to get a speed see... boost and then be fast. And I changed it to 11 IVs, and it just completely screwed that up, and it was very, very, very annoying. Look at that. Signature Mon for Corona getting the kill. Love yep. that my team used them so much. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, alrighty. What does he beat that? I don't know why I invite, invite dishonest players who use moves like Protect. You know, because you can. It's true that I can. What else are you doing? With your life? It's a very good question. Like, what else are you actually doing with your life? I, I don't know, it's a very good question. I, I already said that it was a very good question. Exactly the kind of coward I thought you were. <laughs> Alrighty. Ooh. Ooh. To be honest, I, I think I've lost this game already. It's very, uh. Yeah, like you you destroyed a team you, that oh. destroyed the Pokemon that we were supposed to feature, which is just very... Just, okay. Uh, what's the point of the video? Uh, I, did, I mean, did I? I mean, I bought Azumarill. Fair. Yeah. But, like, this Drifloon is literally hard-walled by Ursaring. 
Um, the driftful of hard walls the, the slow the way. Save so is literally just fucking, like, you oh. know... I brought support. mine with the intention of it boosting up the main Pokémon, and then you brought yours with the intention of boosting a random other Pokémon. Hey, I literally meant to boost Ursaring. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's why you brought Ursaring that time. I should've bought the fine. Yeah, these are just came as all of my Pokemon on account of. Yeah. To be honest, I thought it was pretty anti Swirl Breath. Okay. I, I, I didn't account for. Okay. And you said that, like, you were gonna switch the guy in, but you didn't even, like, switch the guy in, even though Drifloon wasn't making a relevant decision that time. Switch the guy in now. <laughs> okay. I'm switching the guy in now. Quite the turn, too. Like, I'm literally telling you that I'm switching the guy in. Oh, so I, I thought you could do in the Drifloom slot, because again, Drifloom oh. isn't making relevant decisions. You burnt my thingy. How I dare did. you? No, I didn't. <laughs> Why is it burnt? I totally don't have a flame wall. Why would you lie to me like this? If you have Rock Slide? I have Rock Slide? Oh, no, I said great. if you had Rock Slide. That would be, yeah, like that there would be no more uh, suffering in the world if I had rock slide, to be honest. That's quite a take. Just the world would be safe from people like you who kill the main Pokemon and, you know, then complain about. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know if you I've noticed this, it. but I'm not an honest I've actor in this matchup. I've got it. I mean, the I've Gyarados is dead. I've got it. You. What? Okay. I, I, <laughs> Let me use it. I died to liquidation. <laughs> Let me use it, damn it. Uh, use what? <laughs> I wanted to use Tailwind. Now, now I'm imprisoning. Uh, I can no longer click Dragon Dance. I mean, not Dragon Dance. Oh, whatever. Uh, the, the move that Gyarados doesn't get. No, I was meant to say one of the ones. I meant Shadow Ball. Ah. <laughs> uh, my brain takes yeah. a while to remember what the hell I'm trying to talk about. Hey, that Drifloon was fun. Yeah, I think that Garganacle is just so much better than every single one of the Pokemon <laughs> Yeah. I mean, Volcarona Look, I will was good. be honest. I will but you be brought honest. a team that was very good into Volcarona. Do you want to just do a game three team? A, game, a, a third game? Fuck it. We, we always do third game. What? Okay, I'm bringing them all. Uh, in fact, I'm bringing, I'm bringing the other strategy. Okay. Does this involve actually bringing... Three of the, the three yeah, control does. Pokemon. Yeah, it does. I'm impressed. Uh, that's the wrong game. Hmm. Now, what thinking of this? Uh, man, Garganok is a broken beastie. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's just, uh, get this shit in town. Sure. That's, that's a very normal way to describe that. The expert belt in the walker on is very interesting. Oh. <laughs> I saw it kill the same line. <laughs> hmm? Uh. Yeah. I'm a big fan Whoa. of how you're uh, committed to stopping the Pokemon yeah. from doing anything. I needed to show off the other thing because you refused to. Yeah. The other thing it can do because you refused to. So then let's. Uh... I mean, I have Tailwind, but then you brought a slower team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Volcarona does set Tailwind in the format. I probably should have mentioned that in the video now that I think about it. Oh, thank you for boosting the power of my fire type moves. Let's see if Gargan oh, dies. Fuck! This didn't kill Jesus. Of course it didn't. Gaga fucking Ackle, what the fuck? <laughs> did you did you genuinely think the Gargan was going to die there? Yes. I'm 
That's confused. why I did that play, otherwise I would have killed the Volcarona. Like, what do you want from me? What do you want? From me. Um, I'm gonna check and check a thing out. What the fuck do you want from me? I just thought that would kill it. It's a Garganarkle. I'm Spideff as well. <laughs> what the fuck is Garganarkle? <laughs> it's very good. I can Terrifier do that much. in the sun. Fucking photosynthesis. Jesus. They got the KO. <laughs> so Volcaron is very strong. It clicks Tailwind so that your Garganarkle can outspeed their Trick Room ones outside of Trick Room. Sad times. I think that setting Sun up for my Volcarona did not work yeah. out Yeah. No, it didn't. Because you bought Garganarkle, which is better than everyone in this matchup. And I want know, to be fair, the play. The main reason that my Volcarona didn't work out that well is because I brought really weird my Terror on it. And I'm really sad, game one, that it changed my uh, my, my intentional, like, because I intentionally sent these, yeah. sped these IVs, and then it just True. resets that to 31, which is very but why don't you just, like, did that, how much did that matter? Because it was Trick Room. No, it didn't matter. It was actually, okay. like, better for me than that. But, however, yeah. I'm still mad about the fact that Showdown changed it, because that was supposed to be, like, a cool, funny tech that I showed. Uh, and otherwise, uh, I would just run attack investment. That's fair. Fair. <laughs> Like, did you uh, see how little that dual wing beat did to Drift Bloom? <laughs> it did not do much. No, well, yeah, yeah. Like, I am max HP, but still. Mm. Uh, the Garganarkle is 52 defense. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's just like a stab, right, synthesis sun boosted move. I mean, you're a soul fest, not choice bad. What do you, what do you think to this is? You're like, like, you're right, it doesn't kill it. I think I got a low roll, but you're right, it doesn't kill it. But fuck me, I just assumed it would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I dude. just assumed 132 plus a you life. Only, you did 82%. So, what, the max roll is what, like 89? <laughs> uh, according to, like, you're just 52. 52, 52. Yeah, yeah, with the um, relaxed nature. Uh, oh, with the relaxed. You always got to put okay, the nature on changed. the big stat. Okay, but. well, no, now it wasn't, because that was the lowest roll for non-relax. Oh, Regardless. Okay. Jesus, Garganarkle. What the fuck? What is that Pokemon? Alright. Uh, yeah, so anyway, this was a great video talking about how good Garganarkle and uh, Drifloom are. Um, yeah. I like that's what we highlighted, because that's what we fucking highlighted. I mean, I think that my Volcarona is a lot of work. Um, Azumarill definitely seems like a good mon. Um, yeah. <laughs> your Volcarona got a KO. Yeah, no, it did. It Volcarona did, it, was a pretty it, it, good mon. One game one. There's a reason yeah, that Volcarona, Volcarona is broken. a staple, and Ursa Ring... And look, I'm gonna be honest, I don't Wing think Slitherwing is going to make any really impression. Intimate. I don't think it's gonna make much of an impression. Especially not a good first impression in VGC Series 2, now that we've, like, finished the battle. Mostly because, like, it's got first impression, but outside of that, it's got nothing really amazing. Mm. And there's just, like, Terror Flying's, I think, a pretty popular Terror type. And it's not exactly, like, it doesn't exactly have great matchups into a lot of spread moves, that sort of thing. Um, like, while it's got good speed depth, I think there's just a lot of Pokemon that can kind of do its role, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, it's a good tail Tailwind one, but so are a lot of ones that just bad attack, they just offer other stuff, you know what I mean? Because, mm. like, it doesn't really, yeah. I just wanted to sort of give my thoughts on the wing now that it's over. Um, I picked it because it's my favourite of, well, it's, I think it's my favourite of the, uh, you know, um, new Pokemon. But I don't, I think it's going to be one of the worst in VGC, just because of its, you know, one-dimensional nature and it's like a support. Would you agree with that, or? I think, I think it can definitely pull it off. Yeah, like, I think that... people will use it and it'll be good in some teams, but it's not going to be a meta definer or anything. Yeah, look, I mean, I think there's a reason that most of the Slitherwing teams, the few that have top cut, I think there have been uh, two that I've seen total top cut online tournaments, have been, you know, like the second, uh, sorry, have been towards the end of top cut. And you, you, when you see a Slitherwing, it's more often going to not be top cutting, it's going to be like two and three. Um, yeah. And then dropping out sort of games. 
And I think that's because it is a Pokemon that shares very specific traits. Um, no, I mean, I think the main reason that it's not as good is because it's really hard to test it. Um, I think this also like Garganacle is good because it beats Tastos. Yeah. Um, yeah no, I think true. that most most meta decisions right now seem to orient around your ability to beat Fluttermane and Tastos. I mean, that that again, it can maybe beat Tastos. Like, it can probably break subs and burn up that sort of thing, which you know, might be important for Tastos. It's got Water Veil. Oh, yeah, that was true. Um, and we've, we've seen people use Water Veil and other way. So, yeah, I think yeah. that the main reason, if, if you have a strongest. It, it, most of these teams are teams that are strong into Tatsdozo and are losing to other significant uh, sort of mods. Um, yeah. Yeah. Look, I thank you guys all for watching. Definitely leave a comment down below about what other non-Paradox high tiers I, I should go through. I'm definitely focusing on getting through oh. all the Paradox Pokemon. Oh, uh, do, 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 uh, do Scroomtail next. Scroomtail. Very unlikely that Scroomtail is going to be next. Or do Scream Tail at some point. Because I'm alternating Iron and Protosynthesis and Cork Drive Okay, and this is a that's fair. But Scream Tail. Scream Tail. I've, I've got Scream Tail plans. I've got all I the... actually almost bought it to this game instead of, um... What's his name? Instead of, uh... Literally during our conversation where you're like, why are you so obsessed with Scream Tail? I thought, oh, I'll just bring it instead of Drifblim. And I should've. Okay. I mean, <laughs> we've done time. literally nothing similar to Drifblim. Nah, what a trick room. It's a very fast mod. <laughs> It would have been if it would have been outspeeding my random mods in Trick Room. <laughs> yeah, um, still would have Trick Room. Clearly, huh? the Trick Room was the was the, sorry the Tailwind was the winning play to game two. Um, but yeah, look, I thank you guys all for watching. Definitely consider using yep. Volcaron on your teams. Um, if you have a team which is looking for something that can just take that one ground move from Great Tusk, that's that's the main thing Slitherwing does is it can kind of ignore Great Tusk and target a partner Pokemon. Great Tusk has been a very yeah. good Pokemon, so having a mod that can ignore it is good. But make sure that your team checks other things like water types. It's generally yeah, a good that, idea. That's pretty nice. Thank you guys for uh, watching. Bye.